Um, I was going to go over the, the grading rubric for the summary of argument, but it's, in the, uh, it's on the website. It's also at the end of this um, uh, presentation. Uh, and so it should be fairly clear. I mean, basically, you're, you're just going to identify one element of these, you know, the, the claim, reason, evidence, warrant. You identify one in each case. You summarize those in your own words. Um, you, should, you can quote from the text, but if you quote from the text, you can't substitute that quote for your own summary. You have to summarize yourself. Always include the citation and page number from the text where the claim is being made. Um, when you do it, it all has to make sense. You want, you want to, to tell, basically, you, you, you want to give us an account. You, you're describing the argument for us. You're describing the structure of the argument. Um, and it should all make sense to us, right? Uh, should be in your own words. Um, you can look, I gave you an example in the, in the lecture three on claim, reason, evidence, warrant. One of the last slides was just really just an example of how your summary of argument should look, right? So, you know, if, if, you're, if you have questions about it, take a look at that and see what it looks like. Um, but I've given you lots of examples of how it works in Warburton, so those of you working on Warburton, you know, I think you've got some strong hints about, about how, to, how to do this, okay? All right, thanks.